Good morning, everybody. It's Morgan coming to you with the very first Dirt Church service uh, here on our Highland Cycles YouTube channel. Uh, if you've been watching this channel long enough and you stay to the end of the videos, you know I'm a Christian. You know about my faith. Uh, I don't go crazy talking about it all the time, uh, but it's very, very important to me. And I have decided to take another step towards listening to what God has put on my heart, and that is sharing his word with as many people as I can. Uh, now, don't worry guys, the channel is still all about dirt bikes. It will always be all about dirt bikes, but there's gonna be a new playlist here on the channel. It's gonna be called Dirt Church, and it's gonna be my little messages that I'm trying to prepare and give, and I don't even know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. I just feel God pulling on my heart for this. So. Uh, if you're uh, not a Christian, maybe give it a listen. If you are a Christian, please give it a listen. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends who aren't Christians. Um, don't just turn your back on it if it's not your thing. Um, and if it's, you know, you've thought about this, whatever, and you know that you're not into it, that's fine. Just skip the video, wait for the next huge dirt biker video or the next review or, or the next vlog. Um, I'm traveling out to Peach Valley. By the way, this is an open invite. Uh, we're gonna meet seven o'clock on Saturday mornings. Uh, I'm gonna drop a pen for where I'm gonna be. It's gonna change all the time so that it's fun dirt biking to get there. Um, obviously, weather permitting. Uh, maybe in the winter time, we'll do something different. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, anyway, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, here we go. We'll just go. We'll just take the road up and around because the the single track up to that thing it gets pretty nasty. Not All right, guys. So we are up here. We got Jamie and Mason Nichols here, and we are up here for the first dirt church. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to talk about Jesus, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And that is the Black Canyon. All right. So, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want to talk about God. And I want to talk about, start with, like, the first one here, I want to, like, the back of my van has Ephesians 6, 7 on it, which basically says, where is it, so I can make, so I don't botch it here. Um, yeah, work with enthusiasm as though you're working for the Lord rather than for people. And that has, like, been on my heart recently, because I, I just feel like, with this huge freaking platform that I have now to talk about, you know, I can talk about anything I want and like all these people listen, it's weird. <laughs> super, super weird. I'm like, all right, well, the only reason I get to do any of this is because of God. The only reason I can like, I mean, obviously, cause you know, he created us and created all of this. But then beyond that, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for him. Cause I would have, I would have, screwed my life up so bad like years ago i would have been whatever in a gutter like worthless if it hadn't been you know finding uh jesus and looking towards him instead of towards the world so um i've been thinking about that and i've been thinking about work because a lot of people whine about work these days everybody seems like <laughs> the whole world hates working they don't, <laughs> they don't want to make money well i, I don't even think they want to make money anymore it's like they just want to sit and be. And that doesn't even make sense. Like, like money's not even a motivator, which I can't, I don't know. My brain doesn't get around that. So I was like, I gotta, I'm got i going to do this first one on work because it's important. And I, it's cool because if you go back to Genesis 1, right? Like the beginning of the Bible, beginning of the planet, you know, God made all of this. And he worked and he like built all of this. And then he made us in his image, and one of the parts of his image is a worker, a creator, something that does something. And, uh, and so when he asks us to be like him, that's one of the things he wants us to do is to work. Like, and work like diligently and do a good job. And it's just, I don't know, I, and I'm so happy, you know, I'm, you are awesome because you're teaching your kid to work. And my, you know, same with my boys, you know, they're like, and I think it's it's kind of awesome because 
anyone right now who's actually teaching the value of work and um, doing a good job, those kids are going to have a massive advantage <laughs> in this world. Like, oh, yeah. the biggest advantage <laughs> ever. Because no matter what happens, like, no matter how techy everything gets, things still have to be built. Like, computers have to be built. Cars have to be, stupid Teslas have to be built, whatever. All those things have to be made. Food has to be grown. Like, you can't do that on a computer. You can't telework into a farm. You yeah. know, like, you can't. So, I mean, I guess there's kind of some automation, but, like, you, something has to be done. Well, heck, the, the, uh, the stuff that automates the farm equipment has to be built, right? And worked on. And wor we're exactly. And so, like, someone who's willing to do work is always going to get ahead. And, um, yeah, and like I said, in Genesis 2.15, uh said God placed man in the garden to tend and watch over it. Like, that was our first job. That was the very first job was, like, you're going to work on this garden. Um, and now, obviously, when we sinned and fell from grace, work became hard. Before that, it wasn't hard. It was just going to be nice, you know, but we botched that. <laughs> <laughs> because we all botched that eventually, right? <laughs> in our lives. And work became hard. But he still wants us to freaking work. And I, I looked it up, and I, I don't know how you find definitively um, how many times something's mentioned in the Bible. I just Googled it, but it says, the, what I found was somewhere between four and 500 times work is mentioned in the Bible. So it's obviously important. Like, super, super important. Um Oh, and then in Proverbs 12, it tells us two times in 12. Um, verse 24 says, work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and become a slave. And then verse 11 says, a hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies has no sense. And I, it's just, yeah, I think this, the world these days just keeps telling us to uh, do what you want. You know, do, do what makes you happy. Do you know, like, don't listen to this. Do whatever is good for you. And I just don't believe that. Like, No. I don't. Well, not. Well, and that, I think that is also what's so cool about Ephesians 6, 7, you know, talking about working for God and not for people. Because if you're working for the creator of all of this, it doesn't matter if you're folding napkins or planting seeds or turning wrenches or whatever it is you're doing. If you're doing it for him, then it's important, right? And it can be important and it can be fulfilling. Like, it's like, I don't work for, I mean, and, you know, yeah, I work for myself, but the reality is I work for all my customers. Like I, I have hundreds of bosses. I don't have one boss. I have hundreds of them. They all come in and they give me money and they, <laughs> like, they tell me to do something and I do it for them. So everybody has a boss, even if you work for yourself. You have a boss, uh, and if that boss is a person, at some point they're going to let you down, because they're, they're people, right? I mean, we're, people let people down. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah. You know, hopefully you do it less as you get older, you grow up, you learn how to do it less, you let people down less, <laughs> things like that. But you're going to screw up, and that means, and, you know, if you're going to screw up, that means your boss is going to screw up, because they're not perfect, and... So they're going to let you down. And if you're working for, if all you're looking at is the dollars or the boss or whatever, you're going to eventually get really upset. Like you're going to be bummed out. I can't believe I'm doing this for a living. I hate this job, whatever. But if you're working for the creator of this universe who will never, ever let you down, who loves you more than your own parents, who loves you like enough to, you know, kill his son to save you from all your sin, if you're working for that, he's never going to let you down. It's always going to be a positive experience. Like, always. And I I finally got that in my head. Like, it's been about... I mean, I grew up in a church. My granddad was a, a, a pastor. Awesome man. And then I veered way away from religion and Christianity for a long time. I was an idiot. Did all kinds of dumb things. And then it's been about... It's been about 12 years, 10 years or something like that that I've been kind of back on the path. But it's, you know, it's always like this. It's never, if I could just be good. <laughs> if I would just keep focused on God, it would be a lot better off. But but it's just more and more, like every every day, every week, you know, I, I focus a little bit more on God and on Jesus. 
and not on myself and not on the world and it gets better and I'm finally getting my head around the fact that yeah I fix motorcycles for people but really what I do is I try to do use what God gave me which is this body and this mind and whatever and do the very best every day with what I've been given and I know that it makes him happy and that is all that matters and I can go to bed every night knowing that I did my best. And I botch it. I screw up. You know, things, whatever. It's just life, right? You always screw it up. But I know that I gave it everything I had for him and not for, you know, a motorcycle or another $100 or whatever. And it's been so much better because when you're... The other thing is when you're working for him, <laughs> he, you know that he sees... Literally everything you do, <laughs> like a boss or a customer might not see you make a mistake, right? And break something or scratch something or whatever. And you could like nah, 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 fudge it, but God's watching, man. <laughs> and he knows if you're being dishonest, he knows if you're like, and so knowing that, cause if your boss, if you had like, if your earthly boss was over there watching you, and you were doing that, like you probably wouldn't screw up as much. And if you did, you'd admit it and fix it and whatever and, and produce a better product, whatever that product is. So if you think, well, you know, God's watching me, just do it right. However long it takes, whatever it takes, you know, like do it right and you do a better job, which then, amazingly enough, equals more money, right? Like it, it all comes around. It's like, and, and God wants us to have money and have dirt bikes and have fun and i mean that's the other thing that's in the bible over and over and over again is joy like god wants us to be joyful and happy and play and have fun and dance and eat and goof off and ride motorcycles and all. that's what he wants us to do glad you said that because a lot of people a lot of the judgy people will tell tell you these are idols yeah most people you know i've had that i've got that I've just got toys, and they're like, "Well, idols, idols, idols." It's like it's not an idol. Yeah, you know, I can get rid of it right now. It's not an idol. I'm not worshiping. You know? Yeah, yeah, you're not worshiping the thing. And the thing is, it's interesting because it can be like you can screw that up. But I've done that, right? <laughs> right. I've I've bought a bike that I shouldn't have bought. You know, I didn't have the money for. Like, I couldn't. You know, didn't have the income for to pay for it. And, and uh because I was letting it be an idol. Like, I got to have a new bike. I got to have a new this. Got to have a new this. Whatever it is, right? A new pistol, a new dirt bike, a new TV. I mean, it could be anything, right? Yep. And I let it be an idol. And, and so you can. But, like, all that is is just a bunch of metal and plastic that some human put together. Yep. That's all that is. The same with a dollar bill. And that's why, you know, everybody misconstrues the verse about, you know, um, money, you know, money is evil, the root of all evil. It's not. It's the love of money yep. that is the root of all evil. Money is not bad. Having a ton of it is not a bad thing. I mean, if you make a ton of it and you're using it for the good of the planet and for, you know, giving it to God, like, you know, you're doing, you know, tithing, giving it to the church that you go to, and then also using it to make the world a better place, there's nothing wrong with having millions and millions and millions of dollars. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. It's when you put it above God that it becomes bad. And we all have to watch out for that because, like, yeah, I look over at that freaking thing and it's brilliant, man. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but like you said, I if that goes away, I'm okay. My life's fine. I'm still happy. Make, like if, make them every day. Yeah. I mean, if my house burned down with all my crap in it, I'd still be fine. And as long as my family's with me, yeah. you know, and I got Jesus, I'm like, I, yeah, I can make more money. Like, <laughs> that's, not, that's not a problem. If you're willing to work in this world, you can always make more money. And if you're willing to do it for the right reasons, it's, you know, it, it, it's just easy. When, when you're looking at, um, looking to God for all that, for your purpose behind your daily work, it's just everything becomes so much easier. Uh, I had something else here I wanted to. Yeah, I mean, basically, that's basically all I really want to say is, like, that if you, like, first, that God wants us to work. 
it's important not to be lazy. It's, it's just important to not be a lazy bum. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And it's bad for you. I mean, it's bad for your body. It's bad for your mind. It's bad for... Because, like, you know, I think idle hands are the devil's playground or whatever. It's another verse in there somewhere that when you get lazy and you're not doing much, that's a real easy time to start making mistakes. You know, it's like, you know, the scourge of our nation right now is you start scrolling through pornography or you start looking at things you can't afford, you know, start scrolling through toys that you can't, you shouldn't be buying and doing things you shouldn't be doing online. And so, but if you're working, you ain't got time for that. (laughs) Right. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with putting in 10 12 hours a day if it like i said if you're giving that glory and all that work to god there's nothing wrong with that and it, in fact i feel more energized when i work hard and do a good job than i do if i just sat around all day i hate sitting around all day <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's all i want to say thank you guys thank you thanks for coming thank up here this this is going to happen every week uh, obviously we'll miss some for races and things like that but uh, i'm going to try to do my best to do at least every week that we're not out racing or camping and i just think it's wonderful thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you for the inspiration uh, thank you all of you for um supporting this and i love you and we'll see you on the next one god bless